Welcome back guys to another GTA video and in today's one my man Simon here he is going to be sending me through my final list of vehicles that he needs for exporting once he sends that through that will actually complete the award for the exporter and that will in turn complete the requirement as you can see here for the 10 out of 10 platinum awards on the tier 4 of the vehicle enthusiast as you can see i'm currently sitting on 24 out of 25 and this one has been a bit of a pain because you do only get one message a day but let's get into it and it's at this point here i do get the text message through from Simeon. so we're looking for the banshee the comet the exemplar no i think that might have been an exemplar that just hit me I'm going to have a wee look. Yes it is, that was quick and easy. So we'll jump in, lose the cops and get it down to the customs just to get a new paint job on it. And as it is the last one, I think we might as well just throw the, the chrome paint work onto it. And all that's left is getting it down to the docks and to his warehouse for exporting. And I am so glad that one is over, that was a pain in the backside, getting that one all done. As you can see, got the Platinum Award and that completes the Tier 4 for the Vehicle Enthusiast. So, we'll just go ahead and claim the rewards as usual, 10,000 RP, $250,000 and the Vapid Slam Truck. And we'll get that into the Career Progress Garage and there it is. It would be nice if it did actually work as a tow truck, but unfortunately it doesn't. I think we'll need to do a, another bit of rearranging in this garage, get it up the back. It's quite big sitting there at the front, but let's get it down to LS Car Meet and get some upgrades onto it, and then take it around the test track. As usual with these career progress vehicles, I am only putting on the performance upgrades on it but i'll just go through each of the cosmetic upgrades that you can put onto it and this one in terms of the cosmetic upgrades isn't actually too bad you've got one or two decent choices with the various parts that you can change on it and you've also got a good number of liveries that you can pop onto it as well I think it would have been good if they added a few attachments onto the, the trailer bed, especially as it's got no actual practical application within the game. But finishing off here with the last few performance upgrades that I can put on it. And that is it done. And like I said, I think it could have done with a few more accessories on the back instead of that just bare expanse. But we'll get it around the test track and see how it does around there. Probably going to be the slowest vehicle I've had around the test track, but we'll go and find out. Now, I do already own one of these. I was one of those that did buy it when it first came out, and it is extremely slippery, especially on the faster corners. But let's see how it does. And away we go. I was extremely reluctant to turn under braking going around those 180 corners and on these faster ones I'm fighting the back end so much but it does make it round in a 122.46 So yeah, definitely one of those fun quirky little vehicles but I think it could have been so much more, a lot of lost potential there 
especially with the tow truck aspect it could have been a lot more within the game itself but there we have it back into the rearranged career progress garage and that is it nearly full one more space left to put a, another vehicle into that may take another week or so before we we get to fill in that space but that is it from me for today guys if you did enjoy the video or did find it useful at all do leave a like and if you are new here why not consider subscribing thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one